Stakes winner. Won a couple neat. of Belmont Stakes, and indeed, he is a Hall of Famer. Eddie Maple, indeed a Hall of Fame jockey, now calling Bluffton his home, running the Equestrian Center at Rose Hill Plantation. While he never captured a Triple Crown himself, he's a part of perhaps the most popular Triple Crown winning horse in history. You're guaranteeing that this horse is going to win the Triple Crown. Three races, three states, in just five weeks. Hasn't been done in 25 years. The 2010 movie Secretariat showcased the 1973 Triple Crown winner. While Ron Turcott steered the thoroughbred to the famous feat, Eddie Maple mounted Secretariat in the horse's final race ever. Yeah, this, this is me. This is me accepting the, the trophy along with the owner and the trainer. You know, as a young, a young person, 24 years old, to end up on potentially the best horse that's ever looked through a bridle, I was uh, half paralyzed and, and half overcome with just being able to have the opportunity to ride a horse like him. It, it turns out that I'm a, a small piece of, you know, that legacy, that secretary legacy. Since then, only two other horses have won the Triple Crown, the last coming 34 years ago. Now, since his mount of secretary in 73, Eddie Maple went on to a Hall of Fame career, highlighted by his wins in the 1980 and 85 Belmont Stakes. Eddie Maple finally wins the Belmont Stakes. I'm Kevin Fresh, play about a neck. Stephens on a stick. Riding in the Belmont on my home track at Belmont Park, I, it was special. And, and here I ride this long shot who had a legitimate chance. And being able to win that, uh, that for a for a day or two overshadowed Secretary's last race. The Belmont in itself without a triple crown threat is, is a unique race because of the mile and a half distance, which is once around Belmont Park, which is the biggest dirt track in the United States. But I think the fact that we've got a horse, I'll have another that's been able to win the Derby and come back and win the Preakness. And now he's on the, on the verge of becoming a triple crown winner. The excitement uh, is maybe 10 times. I'm sure that uh, I'll have another who's been exceptionally busy as far as if he could sign autographs, he'd have probably been a busy fellow this couple of weeks. It's a fairly large field for the Belmont, and, and I think there's some really nice horses in there, and uh, I think it'll be a good racehorse, but uh, I, I'll, be, I'll be looking for, uh, I'll have another to get home first. And of course, you can see the horse race right here on WSAV on Saturday. I just got off the phone prior to the show with Eddie. He said, I can't resist. He booked a flight and he's heading to Belmont to yeah, see Good for him. So he's excited about uh, that. Does it get more exciting than Belmont no, with a chance to triple crown? No, that's what he said. He said, that's the ultimate peak. <laughs>